everybody, it's Katie from Ray & Company Face Painting and Body Art. And in today's video, we are going to be doing um, a little Easter Bunny here with um, some flower action. So um, let's get started. I'm going to show you what supplies we're using so that you can um, just have kind of the lay of the land. And today's tutorial actually just uses really basic supplies, so it's pretty awesome. Um, so I have here um, a mister bottle here to activate my paint. If you're just starting your kit and uh, whether you're a volunteer or hobbyist or um, you're just looking to start doing it professionally, I recommend getting a couple of these. I am going to be using um, a sponge today. This is a teardrop sponge by Always Wicked Art. I love these. Um, they're just small for the face. I find them a little easier to work with and I like these rounded edges. Um, so I'll be using one of those today. In terms of black and white, I've got some wax-based paints here. This is Tag tag Regular Black and Tag Regular White. Um, and so, like I said, these are wax-based, so they're really good for line work. And then we'll be using three primary brushes today. Whenever I start doing a new design, um, I always kind of at the end, after I sketch it out, I take stock of what kind of brushes I used and how many times I changed my brush. And I always try to keep it to two or three, just so that there's not a lot of um, brush changing, because otherwise it can make a design go longer or take longer than it needs to be. So anyway, we're going to be using these brushes today. Um, this is actually part of the Paint Pal Classic Brush Collection, and so I will uh, show you what, um, what the rest of those are here in a minute. Uh, but that's why this design is so good today, because it's it can be done with basic supplies. So I'm not using any fancy um, split cakes or one strokes or anything like that. So anyway, uh, these brushes, so we've got the big drop brush. This is just a filbert brush. The larger of, uh, they have two of them, but this is the one that comes in that collection. I've got a um, Paint Pal Pretty Petal brush, which makes these flower petals over here. And then I've got a number just a number three round brush so this would be you know considered kind of your standard paintbrush so I've got a number three now this collection comes with six total brushes so it comes with two additional um, round brushes a number one and a number four and then it also comes with a um, what they call the arty brush large but is a three-quarter inch flat brush so this collection runs between um, $25 and $30 plus or minus, depending on where you get it. But uh, for this tutorial today, we're just using these three brushes. So that really uh, covers the supplies. However, if you are interested in starting your own face painting kit, I'm just gonna grab it here. Um, if you're interested in starting your own face painting kit, head over to my website, rayfaceart.com forward slash learn. And then you can pick up this guide that I have, how to build your first face painting starter kit. It goes through uh, my journey on how I went from something like this to this to um, a larger kit that I have now. And I created it with multiple budget levels in mind. So hopefully you guys find that helpful. And if you do, let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. All right, so let's get started. We are going to um, do this bunny. And the first thing that I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to sponge on sort of this base layer, this base layer of um, white, this little muzzle. And um, this would be the only color that wouldn't be sort of in a, in a like starter palette, it, like a standard 12 color um, palette, but I have a pearl white, which is what I'll be using. However, you could use the regular white um, that would come with your kit, with your palette. So if you're just getting um, kind of a standard 12 color palette, you could use the regular white in there. I love these pearl whites um, because I just find them to be a little bit more forgiving. They blend really nicely um, with the skin. And then they also, you know, when you have color around them, it just is a little bit, I feel like, more forgiving, especially as, you know, a beginner in terms of uh, not leaving too many streaks and things like that. So, okay, so I'm gonna sponge that on and I'll zoom in here for you so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, I'm gonna go ahead and 
wet that big drop brush and I'm going to come over to my paint and grab some of this bubblegum pink. And this is um, a, you know, a, some sort of a pink should come with a 12 color palette. So it might be something in the middle of these two uh, pinks, but you should get something. And then essentially what we're going to do is if the middle of the eyebrows is our focal point, we're just going to create two little triangles. So I'm just using the toe of my brush to create two little triangles and then I'm just going to fill them in with this big drop brush. Okay, so we've got that going. I am going to go ahead and rinse off my brush. Now if you have another Filbert brush um, you know, handy, you could always just grab another one to do this next step or um, I actually in this tutorial over here <clears throat> in well, let me zoom into this one in this one over here I actually did use a smaller filbert brush so here's the other one they have um, just the little drop and the big drop I actually just used this for the ears um, but really just to save time so you don't it's not a not a necessity I'm talking too fast today okay so Let's see, what am I gonna do next? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my white, my tag regular white, and I'm just gonna load my brush up with that. Let's see, um, this light always just kind of blows this out when I have the white, um, so it's kind of hard to see how I load it, but. Now, keep in mind that every little kid is gonna have different real estate on their forehead, so um, we'll pretend that this this person has maybe a little less real estate and what you're going to do is just going to kind of we're going to do the flat part of the ears first so we're just as a starting point so we're going to do that and then we're just going to um, kind of go in the middle of these ears off to the side and we're just going to drag a line up to the middle this will help just you, help you just like block out what, what's happening here with the ears. And then we can just kind of fill it in. Okay. So there you go. And then essentially what we do here is we'll just draw these lines down. Now you could do these lines first too, obviously but I'm going to grab a little bit more white and then I'm just going to paint right back over those lines so that it looks like it's overlapping. So there we go. We've got some cute little bunny ears. Okay, so next I'm going to um, go ahead and you know what I forgot to do? is while you have the pink, don't make a mistake that I just did, but while you have the pink, you're gonna wanna go ahead and do the nose as well. So we'll just come back over here, grab some pink. I think my brush is a little bit too wet, but we'll see here. We'll blot it on the skin a little bit. All right, and so then bunny nose is a little bit more oval. So you're just going to want to make your little bunny nose. All right, now we're ready to move on. So I'm going to go for the pretty petal brush. I'm going to load this up with my tag regular white. And we're going to do some double dip, a double dip flower and some double dip flower petals. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll go for a purple and I can show you that here. Come up here. I'm going to wet down this, uh, we'll try this lighter purple. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm just loading up the tip of the brush, of this pretty, pretty petal brush. 
So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but I've just kind of loaded up the tip of it just a smidge. All right, so we'll come back over here and I'm gonna test it out on my arm. And it just gives us a nice, pretty little lavender um, edge on it or tip. Now to make a double dip flower, it's very simple. You just wanna lay your brush kind of at an angle and press down. And so we're going to do five. So we'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm kind of at an awkward angle here because of the camera. Um, so we're going to see how much more we can get out of this. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, one, two, Okay, so we've got our little flower going on there. Super pretty. If you have time, you could make these extra little ones a different color, but um, it kind of just depends on how long your line is going to be. I'm going to come back into, uh, I'm going to take my number three round brush now, and I'm going to load it up with some light green. So the standard palette that I started with uh, was actually made by Tag, and it had um, a light and a darker green, well, more like these two, um, with it. So you should have those colors at least. Okay, we're going to come back here, and essentially we're just going to put a couple little sprigs of grass, just for fun. Just sneak some in here wherever you can. They don't have to be big, just kind of a hint. And then maybe we'll come back over here, activate some dark green, not even rinsing my brush out. I'm just going to go ahead and load it up with some dark green. Come back over here and just kind of go over these again with a little bit of dark green. Cute, right? Okay, so I am going to go ahead and rinse that brush now. Again, another time-saving trick would be to just grab your next round brush. Um, but if you don't have it, you'll have to, you know, if you don't have more than one round brush, you'll have to um, grab another one or uh, rinse the one that you're using, sorry, and then, um, and then reuse it. That's one thing that I'm trying to get better at myself, honestly, is just, um, you know, reaching for another new clean brush and then rinsing out all my brushes at the end um, between children instead of sort of rinsing as I go because um, it just saves a little bit of time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is um, to make dots, you're gonna load your brush up. And I know it's really hard to see this, but um, essentially, you create a little puddle, you'll roll your brush and create a little puddle so it gets some of that paint off and you dip your brush in there to almost make like a little ballpoint pen. And then that'll give you nice, um, nice clean circles, dots. All right, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little shine on the nose and then I'm gonna come over to the muzzle and I'm gonna pretend that we've got two circles right here, kind of in the middle of the nose. I would pretend that we would have two circles. So if I start right here, then I'm gonna come right around like this. And I'll pretend the other circle's right over here. So go around like that. Now I usually do dots or whiskers, um, not both. So we'll go ahead and just do whiskers on this one. So we'll bring some whiskers out like this. I kind of prefer the dots over the whiskers, but I'll leave it up to you guys. We'll go ahead and put some dots in there. Why the heck not? 
just like that. And then we are going to split the lip here like this. And we'll go ahead and also, while we have our white, go ahead and also um, outline our ears. Now, if you are new to doing line work and outlining, um, one of the tips that I would have is two tips actually. A, make sure that you have high quality brushes because otherwise you may find yourself really frustrated. Um, you can get brushes at the craft store, but you're gonna wanna make sure that they're, um, they're just better quality than like what would be in like maybe a variety pack in the kids area. You're going to want something just a little bit nicer than that. That's why I recommend this Paint Pal Classic Brush Collection because you can, um, it's relatively affordable. It's made by uh, a face painter. They're made by a face painter. And um, they just, they're relatively affordable, like I said. So if you want to get into it, I would highly recommend this particular set. Okay, so I think that almost wraps it up. Oh, we had some, looking at this other one, I can tell we had some bunny freckles over here and maybe a couple starbursts. Starbursts are easy. Um, you really just kind of go from the center and flick out, flick out, flick out, flick out. So those can be kind of fun. Just a nice way to kind of liven up the design a little bit. All right, and so last but not least, this is another nice to have. You don't necessarily need to do this, but we'll go ahead and rinse this round brush and outline with uh, some black. We'll outline the nose. I don't know if I gave you guys the second tip, but working uh, perpendicular to your work surface when you're outlining is the other way to get really good control over your, um, your brush. So good quality brushes and work perpendicular to your work surface for line work. Those would be my two tips. So you can see that here. I'll uh, turn my arm a little bit so it's at an angle but my brush is not an ad, at an angle, it's straight up and down perpendicular to my arm. And so this way you can get nice line, uh, nice line work and you can draw, but it is hard to, you know, kind of get used to at first when you're used to, you know, holding a pen or a pencil, um, you don't want to hold it at an angle. You want to make sure that you're working perpendicular to your work surface. If you do not do that, what happens is you can go from having a nice straight line like this to getting kind of thick, a thick line that is a little bit more jagged and maybe not exactly what you're looking for. So um, it's more about holding the brush perpendicular to what you're doing. I think I just beat that concept to death, but <laughs> hopefully you guys get the idea. Um, all right, you guys, this really wraps up this little bunny with the cute little flower. I don't know why we call it like a little flower crown on the bunny. Uh, the real estate is going to be different uh, depending on the kiddo. And like I said, you can head over to rayfaceart.com forward slash learn to uh, pick up this guide. So sorry about that. You can head over to rayfaceart.com forward slash learn to pick up this guide here. And um, also if you wanna join me over on Instagram, you can find me at rayfaceart over there as well. I can't promise that I keep up with it that much, but um, occasionally I'll throw some stuff up there as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you want to uh, check the description, I will sometimes put some handy links in there as well. So go ahead and check the description, see if there's anything in there for you. And otherwise, I will see you at the next tutorial. All right, take care.